So today, we'll work on the grid, pagination, and map function to work on this section. First, let's create the component. So open your text editor, go to components, and here, create a new file, works.js. We'll create a functional component. So add export default function and a component name. I will say app works. In return, let's just add a div tag with the text works. Now let's import this component under app.js. So on top, import app works. Then at the bottom, after the app services, add the app works element. Once done, check the side and you should see works over here. It means our component is working. Now let's add this title and a subtitle. For this image and the label or content, we're gonna use the grid system. So open the React Post Scrap, click Components, Layout, and Grid. We will use the Fluid Container. So copy the input of Container, Row, and Call. You can add them under works.js. Then copy the container element. You can remove this div and instead add a section. In the section, add the id works and a class block and works block. Now you can paste your container element. For the title, just after container, add a div tag. Also add a class title holder. For the title, add the s2 tag. Our works. For the subtitle, add another div with a class subtitle. You can copy the text from the website. And you can add it over here. Take the side. And now you should see the title and a subtitle. Now, let's add this image and the labels. First, in this row element, let's add a class portfolio list. Then in call, in small device, I want to use a grid value of 4. Inside the call element, add a div tag with a class Portfolio wrapper. I want the whole block to be clickable, so add the A tag. And inside this A tag, I will just add my image. Then for the label, I will add another div tag with a class label. To add them in the center, I will use a bootstrap class, text center. Now for the title, I will use the S3 tag. Then I will use P tag for the subtitle. These are the static content, but I want to use a dynamic one, so on top, I will paste my data, which is the works data. It has got properties like ID, link, image, title, and subtitle. To access this data, we can use the map function. So at the bottom, after this row element, you can add works data dot map. We can then access works.
then inside this return we can add this call element in the call let's add the key attribute and we can add works.id to access the title we can use works.title likewise to access the subtitle we can use works.subtitle for the link let's use works.link now for the image let's use the image component so go back to react bootstrap click components and image copy the import of image and add them at the very top now let's add the image element and to access the image we will use the src attribute and we can use works.image check the side and it seems we got a minor issue somewhere in the class name so let's just fix this class name of the portfolio list check the site again and this time it is working fine now let's add this pagination so again go back to react bootstrap click pagination copy the import of pagination and add them at the very top Then copy this code and add them after our data. Finally, copy the pagination element and add them after the row. Take the side. And we can see pagination also if you compare it with the design it is looking exactly the same great this is the end of this session feel free to comment below if you have any questions also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future thank you